main ISA to Smile CC. As the Ministry of Health and Sanitation, they continue for give status updates for the COVID-19 at the country. Sierra Network then at the National Emergency Operations Center concerning the updates. Let me listen to the official spokesperson for the COVID-19 response team as they give the update and as, uh, also respond to some questions. Body, welcome to today's press briefing, 8th of May 2020. We have in our midst uh, Major General Taluva, one of the subject matter experts, and also um, Lieutenant Colonel Sivali, doctor, is also a subject matter expert. And um, others, we also have ONS with, we, with us here. Um, we have uh, Mr. Will um, from ONS, and others will be joining us shortly. We'll briefly go to the um, press statement and it's going to be read by the official spokesperson, Mr. Solomon Jamil. Thank you very much, Harold, and I want to say good morning to all of us. I'll go straight to the status update for 8th May 2020. Total cumulative confirmed positive cases, 257, 257. Total number of deaths, 17, active new cases, 26, 19 from Western Area Urban, 5 Western Area Rural, 1 Bombali, and 1 Bo. Active cases at isolation centers, 186, cumulative recoveries, 54, number currently in quarantine, 1,792, number discharged from quarantine, 1,806. Um, the 17th death is a 72-year-old 70, male who had a cardiovascular accident. Um, our hearts go out to the bereaved family, and we continue to remember those we have lost. May their souls rest in perfect peace. And we continue to have in our thoughts and in our prayers our healthcare workers and our healthcare professionals, our security forces, psychosocial workers, and everyone that stands in solidarity with us in fighting COVID 19. So that's our update for 8 May 2020. Um, I just want for, just as a quick supplement to what in, um, Lieutenant Colonel Don't Talk, um, especially on the issue of the quarantine. I mean, I want to follow Fumble there, no say. Much as as a government and much as as an EOC, we want to forget managed facilities for quarantine. But we also need for the project into the future and ask ourselves the very serious question, to what extent are we willing to accommodate this? I mean, even though we get very good intentions for take people into managed quarantine facilities, do we have the resources to continue doing this? Is it a plan? Is it a scheme? Is it a policy that is fiscally sustainable? We get the money for continue. What if next tomorrow we wake and we realize all of a sudden and say you get 5,000 people and for put to the quarantine homes? Do we have the resources to continue doing that? So as Dr. Sivali don't talk, and it is very important for me to emphasize that point, if we get a situation where we can get people for dinner homes and we're able to monitor them from that place, and, and this is something that is happening, in various parts of the world, when it starts, some of we don't watch where we, we own brother Idris Elba, the um, Chris Como, na, na CNN, a lot of celebrities, they prove positive and they will talk to you from their home. So if it is something we could manage from homes, it is something we can do. But we also bear in mind, as an EOC say, you get some people, them, even if genuinely you want to manage them from the, the comfort of their homes, some man, they were very indisciplined. In fact, some man they were in just reckless, and some people are very irresponsible. You go tell and say, Sidonaya, you agree with them on the terms and conditions of the self-isolation. The next minute was until you call her, you go to Bangwai Lai, they talk to you. You know, not until you don't use public transport, you don't go and infect several other people on the way. So as, a, as, a, as an EOC, an issue where they look at, and as Dr. Sivali don't say, we they look at this issue as a very serious um, situation. Is it sustainable that we continue for the get people into hotels, 
people into public facilities. You put somebody in a hotel now, you get for the pay. That money, they, you know. So as an EOC, we they look at them. So we might get to the point where we might just decide, say, okay, this is the threshold, but to not decide it, to not make that determination it. But are we glad that then suggestions here, they come up from members of the public, and they show, say, the people that are the public and the EOC, we all they think as one. Somebody asked about um, the accounts, and, and it's an interesting question, because all of what we do in EOC, we want to be as transparent as possible. We want to make sure, say, people can get the right for no about important aspects of what we do. And the finances are a very important aspect of the operations. We know, say, the Ministry of Finance, we don't announce two accounts. In fact, we are about to issue a public notice for remind members of the public, say, if you want to make cash or check transfer um, for support to the Fed against COVID-19, please make sure you do them directly into those designated accounts. We don't want any cash or check transfer. Now, yeah. All what this hotel will do if somebody they, they ask or insist, we go do what we call symbolic donations. Somebody will just take a piece of paper and come and say, okay, I don't, I don't, um, I don't go deposit the cash or the check in the account we designated. But do you have for the PR of it? So tell, I want, and some man want where AYV the capture her. Some man want where SLBC the capture her. So we don't want to deny those people those rights. If one can make symbolic donations, we can do them for the PR of it. But make sure you do all cash or check donations into the accounts designated for the purpose. Um, whether we foresee any lockdown, we are in an emergency situation. We call this a public health emergency. It means, say, uh, as and when the situation, the demand, we for be willing for take all such measures that are necessary to help address COVID-19. So until the emergency done, Nasalun, all options will always be on the table to discuss. GT Bank donation, that is coming to me as, um, as, as something we um, will look at it. I don't think, say, Harold, self nothing where you are aware of at this stage. No finance, we, will, we will note it, but I think um, Ministry of Finance will be the competent authority because now they, they, um, now they don't create their accounts then they. But I think, say, some days ago, Ministry of Finance be even, I think they update the public at regular intervals on what in don't come and what has been expended. So it is something we would refer to the Ministry of Finance, and, um, but we'll personally look into it and make sure we have something to tell you about in, in, in the short run. Um, on Madagascar Organic, um, Lieutenant Colonel Don instructively speak to the issue. We, as an EOC and as government and people, we recommend every local initiative in any country, but we're very much, um, very much guarded in our approach. Um, what we they do is never disconnected from what the, the World Health Organization does. We think so that the competent international organization, where they lead this internationally, globally, and all countries of the world subscribe to that institution, so we always want to listen to what in the say. WHO is very clear on the Madagascar organic that we have for, we need for jealously guard with positions, not for rush into anything. Um, even though some countries, even in Africa, are going out for it, yes, I think say it based on their own evidence and their own determination, it's a jurisdictional thing. Every country competent for taking own decision, but Sierra Leone has not taken the decision towards um, Madagascar organic, and for very good reasons. I just want to rub Motma, and, and, and this is very important because we, we get to explain this thing in a way where people don't go understand. We people, when you when the figure no boku, so man go say, ah, oh, how the figure small, so they want a case in the height so. <laughs> When the figure high, they say, ah, but the figure too pass mark, what thing they happen? You know, then they, I will tell somebody then this, I say, I call them the conundrum of figures. When it low, there is an interpretation. When it high, there is an interpretation. But like what Major General Taluva don't say, the figure, they go up because with the test, it shows that we, we, we surveillance the work, we contact case in the work. And because we the test, now you make with the discover cases. But importantly, the figure they go up because people and they fail for adhere to the precautions for the issue. It just like when you get boy picking, then some other person get girl picking. 
If they tell you the boy Pekin says Sidona owes, avoid that woman, or they tell the girl Pekin says Sidona owes, avoid that bobo, as long as you are not see herself, nothing will happen. But what did they happen now at the end of the day? The man they go give the belay, the way the belay show he denies say not to give belay. Now this they happen. The virus is in us. It is here with us. If we just stay one place, what will they do? Will they stop the reproduction of the virus? But as long as we they move, we they transmit them. And so the figures are bound to go up. Now these are things say Major General they try to explain to me. So when we get the three days lockdown, if we sit down in place, you don't move out. If you get the virus, you don't go end up for transmitting to other person. And if the virus is out in the street, it not go end up for come to you. So we do a lot of what we call mitigation. We they try to help the elderly people in the society. We they talk about social distancing. We they say wash your hands with soap. We they talk about face masks. But sometimes we also get for introduce what we call suppression. And another that lockdown, they now can come. So it's very important, even if the three days lockdown don't done, but the practice of hand washing, face mask, social distancing, is important all the times. Until God help you reach that point where we will safely say, we think say this virus don't done us alone. But as long as we in discipline, we irresponsible, and we move from place to place without prevention, the, the virus bound for be reproduced, and at that day we need for stop. 